I was sitting in a wedding, enjoying the splendor of this father walking this precious uh, daughter of his down the aisle, and everybody enjoying uh, how beautiful she looked and how proud the father looked. You can all imagine that. And when they got up to the altar, he took the hand of this young lady, his daughter, and he gave it to this young man and said, you know, I give this young lady to be wed to this young man. Her mother and I give this daughter to be wed. Now, any of you who are parents who talked about the importance of their children know that is the ceremonial words they use, but that is not what was in the head and heart of that father and mother right then. What was in their head and heart was, look at young man. I'm going to trust you with this precious uh, human being that her mother and I brought into this world. We have given her unconditional love, and I expect you, through your union, to continue to allow her to be and grow to be whatever she was meant to be. That is what I expect of you. And what I got from that is the realization is that all 7,000 of our team members were just as precious as that young lady. Every one of our team members was brought into this world by some mother and father who hoped the best for this precious young child that they brought into this earth. And that we as leaders, when we allow somebody to walk in our organization, we have an obligation as stewards of that life to continue to allow that life to be everything they were meant to be that we possibly can towards our common vision. Whether they walk in the gate of this uh, Air Force base or they walk in our organization. So I walked away saying, we can have a dramatic impact on this world if we accept the responsibility for that life that joined our organization and shared our gifts.